Guys, the OJ shirts are in stock now at Rogue's Apparel. Hope you pick one up. Uh, it directly supports the show and an independent artist. And plus, you get to have OJ's face. Look, it's so funny. There's a glitch that makes OJ's not even here, and his face can simply make technology glitch. So if you want that special power to make people make things and technology glitch, wear OJ's face on your chest, okay? It's available now. Directly supports us. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoy the review. Hi, I am Angry Joe. Today we are talking about Alien Fireteam Elite. It is the best game ever. It is a 10 out of 10. You should go and get it. It is the only game you will ever need. Ever. And Working Joe, I mean, A Angry Joe is in it. This game is so much fun. Now it's time to boogie. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey you! Boogie? Ah! I knew there was a working Joe left around here somewhere. Sorry about that, guys. <sighs> and as for this game, Aliens Fireteam Elite. You didn't fuck it up! What? Yay, an Aliens game that doesn't completely suck at release and it's not a disaster right away. You fucked it up! I've brought OJ and Alex, my fellow uh, Marines, who uh, played the whole game with me. It is an oddly three-player cooperative yeah. game. Uh, I wish it was a four-player cooperative game so we could have had some of our community members join us, but I guess I would have been too busy on the screen. Cause <laughs> you didn't want the healing? Oh, God damn it, you fucking watch my line of fire! God damn it, Joe! <laughs> Fuck! You guys are the worst! Oh, God. You're the worst, Joe! You're the only one that's gone down! It gets... Pretty crazy, especially when OJ is using his freaking flamethrower. Hold the button. Ah! Just hold the button, Joe. Ah! Hold, hold the button. Ah! Best Just weapon All ever. over my screen. Who gave you a flamethrower? They gave it to me for free. <laughs> I was like, yes, this is amazing. I put oh, a man. scope. Could you imagine three flamethrowers at once? It would have been. We had three at one yeah. point. Yeah. I had a flamethrower turret, and you both had your normal flamethrowers <laughs> running around. It was great. This is a bad idea, uh, sir. No, I'm fine. I'm fine, Joe. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> I'm all right. Burn everything. No flamethrowers are awesome. This. I'm not going to blame you, Joe. Um, anyways, I really like this game, guys. Uh, it has some obvious shortcomings. Um, and, but I'm a huge Aliens fan, so you have to take that into account because I'm willing to forgive some things. I'm an alien casual. Because you do need to forgive some things. But as a survival game where you're fighting waves and waves of enemies, the Aliens license turns out to be perfect for it. And uh, that's what this game is. Uh, the Aliens license works extremely well. Come on, you fuckers! You want some? Get some! Get some! Get some! Come on! Come on, little! Yeah, you like that? You like that? What did you guys think? I thought this was a good game. Um, the thing that I didn't really like is like there wasn't a lot of variation in some of these modes or some of these chapters. I kind of yeah. wish there was like a boss fight or something. And 
they didn't really utilize the uh, horror element, I don't think, till yeah. the very end. That's it's true. definitely the last more aliens cha- yeah. than alien. The true. last chapter was way better because I kind of wanted like a cool scene, like you have to like sneak through like oh, yeah. a whole bunch of eggs, trying not to wake them up. If they do, chaos mm-hmm. ensues. Something right. Like there's no scripted that- sequences like that, yeah. that that really amp up the horror. What about you, Alex? I I am a huge Aliens fan. Uh, one of the first online games I ever played, like all the time, was a game called Aliens Online on yeah, Dial-Up. Yeah, game Storm. Uh, it was incredible. It had game. It had. Features that this game needs so desperately, but I really did enjoy this game. It has massive shortcomings, and there's, I don't, I don't care about the excuses. Well, it's a small studio. It's like, look, you've got a license that's this big. You could have had a lot more help brought in. You could have do- done a lot more things here. So there's a lot of things missing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll show it some tough love here. At yeah, the and Joe so it's show. like I do, I do love it, but at the same time, it's like, look, you've got one of my favorite IPs. And you, yeah, it's my favorite movie of all time. And you didn't do enough, like on it, like you did a lot. You, you did a lot, more, really, really yeah, well. The you. atmosphere was incredible. The sound design was incredible. Yeah, sound design. Three good. of the four missions are are good, and then. Well, okay, hold on, Alex. You <laughs> too did much. that too much. We're gonna go okay. into yeah. some of the points here. Uh, my main concern initially was that the aliens license didn't have enough content. Right, it's restrictive. Yeah. There's only a certain amount of weapons we've seen in the movie, um, and it kind of you know is a little restrictive because they did have to make up some new stuff here. And what they did create, though, uh, I think was just enough. For it to be, uh, for it to make a customization system mm-hmm. where you're to able to select point. from different weapons and attachments and even abilities. Uh, yeah, where you could kind of slot in different skill modifiers. I liked that system, right? Yep. You have different classes. Um, there's four different classes at first. I think it's Gunner, Demolisher, Doc, Technician. And, uh, yeah. Recon opens up at the end mm-hmm. of the game. And there's another class coming as free DLC. But so they did have to create some new weapons and all the new stuff that they created fits perfectly in with the Aliens license. They did a good job there. This is set 20 years after the film. So it gives us a little bit newer technology and stuff like that. Like the Colonial Marines know about the Xenomorphs and and all these other things. And some certain things have happened in lore. Um, And that's not to say that there aren't some, you know, flaws with the game. Yes. Mine was that there is literally no boss fights. Yes, that was a big one for me. Just aliens with more health, right? Oh, that pissed my mother off. Oh! Trauma station's down. Grenade! I mean, we there's really, but those aliens with more health. You, we all go, oh, shit, they're on. Everybody focus. It feels so good. Yeah. And, and that could be heightened even more with multi-layered boss battles in that sense. But because right now, there's no difference between a warrior and a Praetorian, but health. You know, armor. Just stun right. him and shoot. And stun the, and shoot. Stun and shoot. The crusher bull-like alien. Stun and shoot. And <laughs> the Praetorian and warrior. They all function exactly the yeah. same, unfortunately. Yeah. Unidentified Zeno, where's that? Oh shit, what the fuck is that? Grenade launcher, go! Stun him! Oh, boom, boom, boom. It's a crusher. Cool. What is it? Oh fuck, Praetorian. Hit him, hit him with the grenade. He's cute. Nice. It's cool as fuck. Oh fuck, fuck. Yeah, we did. Give me that petroleum jelly, the royal jelly. Uh, if they were boss battles, they could have multi-phases, different attacks. They would, you know, throw other aliens at you and stuff like that yeah. as it creeps into the walls and you have to stay. But, you know, it doesn't really do that. And the first sort of time it you think it does that is with this alien called Monica. But I mean, we Monica's a warrior. We we will just slap slaps, his ass. Yeah, just slaps you and goes running a right, and like then goes right vulnerable the and runs away. And that, that was fuck? just that's missed opportunity there because yeah. it's a gray alien. You're like, what is this? There's something going on with the pathogen, all this other stuff. But it was again a very disappointing boss battle. Motherfucker, Monica! Monica's down. It's over. I got her ass. 
So about every single boss battle in this game is disappointing, and it lacks boss battles, the real ones. Yep. Um, and worst of all is you don't even fight the queen. What happens in the queen mission? They're going, you just run. Already? Yeah, I mean, you're I mean, yeah. you so I mean, you're going to This isn't a movie review, Joe. This is a game review. Well, People need know. to fucking know. The, the, the name of the, the mission that you can see is called Regicide. Like, you know that you're going to fight you know, the queen, but you don't fuck yeah, the queen. If you, don't, if you make an there. Aliens game and you don't fucking put the queen in just it, you've done fucked rare, up. Okay. Yeah, rare. it doesn't do anything. So, like, this is a huge missed opportunity where, look, Another I'm not expecting one. three colonial marines to fight a queen. Not saying that you have to kill the queen. Fend off the queen, use the environment, do something. This is just mm. a... Oh, I say you have to kill the queen. Well, you, you do nothing. You do nothing with to the queen. Like, the queen, like, did it even kill you? Like, no. did a normal alien kill you? No, she didn't really even get anywhere close to me. She just, like, pops out of the wall and goes, and you you guys, you guys were fucking leaving me by. I was like, wait. And I turned out to be behind there the queen. There was a timer. OJ said, follow running. me. And I was like, all right. I'm running behind the queen. You're behind so that'll the queen? be fun. Oh, that's great. Thanks, guys. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? I said this way. He said, follow him. That I followed was, OJ. And I then, did like the, right the tension there. We made it with like one second yeah. remaining. Yeah. You just got to run past her. Kind of sucks. We got the elevator. We eight seconds, Joe. We're here. Five, three. Are we going to make that? Yeah. Two, one. How did we? How did we literally had one second left? Yeah, but. But. I wanted to fight the queen. She's the final boss battle. You just run from her. And that was a huge disappointment for me, I will say. This did take some points off the game. Because mm -hmm. uh, having no boss battles and the queen fight being basically so disappointing and running away from her, uh, you have to be prepared for that. So let's talk about the gameplay, though. Uh, I think third person works surprisingly well. It does lessen the horror, like you said, Joe. Uh, but it does it let you does, see more. It does, but they should have done more with it. Like you're walking down a ho like a little hallway or something, and from the distance you just see like some run past you or something. Do some tension mm -hmm. moments. That would have been great. Yeah, they they set themselves up for failure with doing third person if they wanted to include any sort of horror, right? So there are jump scare jump scares, right, yeah. where they have uh, prowlers. Ambush! Ambush! Don't let them get you. I guarantee you's up there, motherfucking ambush. Motherfuckers, shoot them off me when I get, get over there. Who's it gonna get? <laughs> ah, you fuck! I fucking knew I knew it was coming. It still made me jump lightly. Because I knew it was coming. And these are these right. alien type that hide, and then they jump on you when they run across. And there's a couple times but where they got... fucking bullshit. But, but the guy tells you. But so not only but the guy does tell not... you, he's like Prowler. It's like, wait a minute, how did you fucking know the Prowler? Well, because he says it way sooner than yeah. it leaps out. Ambush. Ambush? Well, I don't see the ambush. <laughs> I don't see the ambush. <laughs> Motherfucker. Of course, you'd never see an ambush. <laughs> Well, you said it before it actually happened. It's like a bullshit. Well, because you're also in third person, so you can literally see around corners. Yeah. And then you can see this 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 yes. guy looking around going, I can't wait. And it's like, oh, no. I'm in. <laughs> and he's just standing And he's just standing there. Spaghetti. He's like, oh. Spaghetti. <laughs> no, uh, like I said, it does lessen the horror. But I thought it was going to be a colossal disaster just no, like in fun. gameplay. But no, it was fun. You could see the aliens crawling on the walls, you know, and, 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 and around corners and stuff. And it just... And at one point, the game sort of turns into a Gears of War cover shooter because the there's sense. a cover mechanic, that, but you never, never need to use it, use it the, except yeah. for a handful of missions when the synth commandos show up. Yeah. And then you start to use that cover for a little bit. Mm -hmm. But um, <clears throat> I think uh, one of the – because I, as much as I like the game and as much as I just love the universe and I think they really have respected it and, and done uh, you know a good job, yeah. I got to say content is lacking. Do you guys it's agree? It's hugely yeah. lacking. For, I mean, yes, it's a $40 game but we played a lot of $40 games and like this is so much less content than to be at like a $60 game like we get in something like Outriders and we even gave Outriders shit for look after a while the combat loop gets boring Outriders, Outriders has, has bosses and events content. and all, yep. all these other things and yep. so this as much as I like the initial mm. loop I've Ooh, played some more offline without you guys yeah. I played with some other people yep. in the community and the more I play this game the less I like this game mm. because you start to you start to see that you know everything starts to wear thin in the gameplay mm -hmm. loop aliens run down three lanes and they take turns it's like they're 
there's this sad alien conductor you're, that so goes. You're looking at the AI. And then it's the AI goes like, all right, everyone goes left this time. It's like, but why? I want the aliens to rush us in all different ways, so I'm looking around the room, and it's so predictable that the aliens will be like, oh, everyone's going to run left this time, and so I can look at the left wall. And then I can run over and look at – and then no one's going to flank me. There may be one that one that spawns behind us. Mm. Okay, but that's that's after playing multiple times. As your first playthrough, you don't know where the aliens are yeah. coming. You still have the feeling like, okay, they're in front of us, and the Marines will call out yeah. they're behind us and stuff like that. So I think that – your initial playthrough, what matters the most, it, it feels good. But yeah. upon repeat plays, you'll see some of the flaws in it. Even AI. when we lost a single mission, though, there was a time where we lost a mission yeah. where we replayed the mission. We're like, all right, everyone look left, everyone look right. They're, you know, it's just yeah. Like, with a single playthrough, yeah. your, your second playthrough. Yeah, if you if you ever do, die in a mission, there's no tension left in that mission. We started just sprinting through True. missions, realizing we weren't in any sort of danger. We so like, I worry about twenty minutes. I worry yeah. about the replayability that of this game. Well, speaking about AI, too, like I was playing single player. It is trash. The AI really sucks on really? standard. They don't, they just get in your mm-hmm. way, don't do anything. Then I tried it on intense. Oh, yes. The marine AI, what you're talking hear, about? Yeah, the all synth I hear AI. is like, yes, this is a good game if you play with your friends, play mm-hmm. with your friends. But you try to play alone? Nope. Garbage. Garbage. garbage especially Yes, we in have intense. to call that out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, a- a- as far as content, again, I feel like there's two-thirds of a game here. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you look at it, uh, if you would have just given me one-third more, I think I could have been like, yes, this is a good amount of content for $40. But there are four chapters. There are three missions in each of those uh, for 12 missions total. And that's horde, all is here. And it's horde mode. And a horde <laughs> mode, you're right. But that's what we've been the doing all game long, mode. Joe. So <laughs> it's like, honest, I'm not really jonesing to play. Get it, jonesing? The, the, there's no kitties in this, unfortunately. There needs to be jonesy in here somewhere. That would have been an yeah. extra point. Right. Uh, maybe if, if you can use it as a, as a pet animal attack. <laughs> attack, okay, the, attack a face hugger. Um, Alex painted me a little miniature with uh, Jonesy <laughs> attacking a face hugger. Anyways, um, we finished it in about, I looked at it, it was about eight or nine hours with repeating some levels too. So, um, and this game really does seem like it wants you to replay it because there's two more difficulties. And But even on intense already, things can get pretty crazy. Joe, uh, what the fuck? We're gonna die if you don't get your ah! Ah! Fuck! Ah! These fucking warriors, man! What are you doing, Joe? I'm dying! What do you want me to do, man? I'm dying! What? I'll, I'll stop him! What the, what the fuck is this supposed to be? There's no fucking way! <laughs> no fucking way! I guess we, we, were, we were not supposed to fight that. We were all supposed to get through the fucking chopper! I cannot even imagine it on extreme or insane. It would be crazy. Uh, The game also has these challenge card modifiers, though, uh, that do things like remove your HUD or fuck with your motion scanner. Make your guns jam. That one sucks. The game it makes the game more difficult in some ways, in exchange for giving you some credits Mm -hmm. and experience that you can level up faster, so that you can get attachments and gear faster, so you can play the missions over. Um, it works well to vary things up, but it is not a replacement for content. I would have preferred, you know, more, more missions in, in the game. Mm-hmm. So um, <clears throat> could you guys tell that it was a little bit of a budget title to $40 price? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I would yeah. have been crazy. To, if this was $60, there would have been. Yeah. Would have oh, yeah. We, we, we would have probably been below, lip below average. Just stuff like that. Right. So so in all the cut scenes, there's no lip syncing at all. Uh, you just zoom in on it's the like, guy. Okay, and then I, like, I see the there's great <laughs> voice acting. I am not going to shit on the voice acting. I think the Marines all sound like fucking Marines. Uh, you know, and and the lore is great, but you know, you could tell that it's a budget <laughs> title. They don't even do lip syncing. Board the station, find Hanukkah and extract them. Staff Sergeant Herrera will be the voice in your ears. Herrera, He'll guide you, warn you of enemy movements, and provide support. So there's no lip syncing, but there is voice acting. Okay, seems a little lower production value, but. 
Um, in fact, it's a very first game from Cold Iron Studios. Sort of. And this is something that people keep typing in chat and I think is not accurate. These are This is a, is this a studio <laughs> that is from a different studio. Like, they've done games before. This is yeah. the first, like, a Oh, bit. sure, sure. So but it's, it's like the first one. But still, when you're, when you're getting a team together and you're making a game, it, it could turn out shit. Just because you have industry veterans doesn't mean they're going to crank out the best game. Yeah. And I got to say, it's in far better shape than at least Gearbox is. Aliens, Colonial Marines, which had a multi-million dollar, but way more budget than mm-hmm. this game. Their AI is downright inept. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my rack. I'm- um, and this game actually has a little bit more polish. Now, there are some bugs. We ran into a few, but uh, nothing like uh, Aliens, Cologne, or Marines. It passed my test. <clears throat> yeah, yeah so you didn't bug everything. Like, oh, there was a couple audio couple. bugs that were horrible, but like they were real small. So through those 12... Connections and that's about it. Yeah, so through those 12 missions, uh, I want to talk about variety. Alex, variety. what are the missions like here? Uh, okay, so you as you as a group of three, uh, you move from from the starting point to like the other point, and then you hit the button. And once you hit the button, the button makes bam, noise. Bam, bam. Even the if the button, button makes noise, the button makes noise, and noise is bad. And the aliens will rush you, usually in three lanes. And I, by, by usually I mean always in three different lanes, always predictably, one at a time because they take turns. And or then behind you if you're in a sometimes, room and yeah. And then that button is done because buttons take a while. And then you rush to a new area with a different button. And, and then, a, and then a new area. Well, with sometimes the there's a doodad you got to grab too. Um, oh right. And then so, so it's not a button; it's a doodad. And yeah. then there's a thingamabob sometimes that the bad guys drop. Yeah. Uh, and then you got to pick that up. But those make noise. Yeah. And when noise, noise happens, aliens show up. Well, and but then by the, the way, there is no jingling bells on it. <laughs> by the way, there is no noise when you hit the button. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> and also, aliens come when you rip de- dog tags off of uh, dead soldiers because it makes noise. It makes noise, it makes but noise. there is no noise. Patching up. Oh shit, uh, grabbing the tags off that Marine has made the aliens upset. Hostiles incoming. Cool. What we're doing is we're making fun of the fact that every fucking mission is grab the thing, hold, and horde mode, which I gave Destiny shit for it. I gave motherfucking, you know, Anthem shit for it. So I'm going to give Alien shit for it. Yes, I kind of expected it already because that's kind of how this game is built. But every single segment of every single of one of these 12 missions, it gets repetitive. Mm -hmm. Um, And so I just wanted to mention that. You have to be prepared for that. Uh, That was the end of the second chapter and no boss. Just waves and waves and waves. Uh Uh-oh. It's starting to wear on my patience a little bit. Um, I have some suggestions that could have broken things up. For sure. APC missions. Drop ship segments. Like, those are done in sound only during the loading screens, but we could have had a segment. Investigating segments. Like... In Batman, that would ramp up the horror elements, the tension. Like, you're looking at all these dead bodies. You're figuring out what happened and all what's yep, going it on. pops here, out. And then shit yes. starts to go down. Or just some mini games for hacking or door cutting and welding. That kind of stuff would break up these monotonous Even sections. if you don't want to get into completely new development stuff, like more timed missions where it's just like, hey, you, you set the charges, now get the hell out of here. And mm-hmm. it's less about sitting here for 10 minutes and shooting and like, how do we get from point A to point B in yeah. 30 seconds? You're saying even with their restrictions. Even mm-hmm. with their restrictions and we're like, look, no more no more development. No, we don't have to program an APC. You already have a timer built into the game. The timer's really easy. Sure. And just like do more things to break up yeah. the sit and can. Yeah. They have two timers, one at the final mission and one during one of the other missions. Um, Exterminate. But honestly, you know, and we're trying to help them out there. But no, really, it do, it did need some extra development or something Agreed. to vary it up. Agreed. If we're going to give other games shit for it, we got to give this game shit yeah. for it. Um, and finally, I think one really good idea, uh, it was brought up, I mean... Uh, I, I was developing an Aliens board game behind the scene with Kevin Wilson. Uh, so I, we had some ideas with Alex where in this board game, like it was possible where there was a mechanic where one of your buddies could get captured. 
you know, during gameplay and taken to the hive. And so you, you need to go and rescue him and like pull him out of the hive. Like that would have been awesome in this game, especially since there's only three players. It would have been like, we gotta go get him, you know. Um Behind. Push further into the hive. I actually do feel like we're fucking pushing into a goddamn hive. We're going the wrong way, boys. All of these could still be content updates, you know, um, as I don't think this game's going to get a sequel. So anything that's coming for this game, it'll be November, a content the update. DLC's coming out. Right? Yeah, but whether it's out. something crazy, like new stuff like that, I don't think so. It'll probably be more story missions and uh, the announced class that they've already announced. Um, but what did you guys think about how it had adva advanced the lore in the series? Because uh, Aliens Colonial Marines was touted, oh, this is canon, it's going to do everything, it's going to be best, and they kind of fucked it up. Again, what about the lore? Yeah, here? again, I'm a alien casual. I just know the films. I don't go way Okay, well, we'll not behind. go with Joe, we'll go with Alex. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I view Aliens lore the way I do Star Trek lore, where anything that happened after, I don't remember what year. Although, say, there's a p period of time where it's just like, it's this is new Aliens lore, and I don't give a shit. Um, because it's oh. been kind of bad. Well, I loved it. But you say it's bad. No, I said after like so. Alien love, aliens, aliens yeah. love, and then there's some other ones that are like guilty pleasures. Sure. But then we get into like for well, they don't really talk about like colonial Marines and, and much like after any that. of that other shit. It's like I don't give a fuck. Okay, well, obviously that. we're just focusing on colonial Marines. I loved it. I think uh, the Colonial Marines are now kind of less a lackey for Wayland. I always hated that, that the company kind of used these Marines to whack around people. Mm -hmm. uh, Hyperdyne is now a separate company. And they mentioned the Progressive Peoples, uh, which I wish one day we'd get to play against or with if, if they're like the other kind of human faction in this universe and world that, you know, uh, they've even tried to pit, you know, the United Americas and Colonial Marines and start an intergalactic war and stuff like that. It's been in the RPG that we've played. Uh, they even had fucking working Joes yeah. in the game from Alien Isolation. I thought that was cool. So I love the way they integrated the lore. I think it's great. They have a, a new mother uh, ideas. Mother is like the computer systems that control things. They introduce commissars. You know, there's a little bit of Warhammer 40k up in there, and the frontier war. So uh, you go going through all the lore, and you're you're listening to all the voiced things from the intels. It's like goddamn, but I need a picture, or I need at Show least some lip syncing else. or something else. It's just pure, you know, voice, voice stuff. But I think they did a good job there. Um, it does even include some pretty cool, you know, Prometheus lore uh, that we've seen in in you know, Prome pretty cool Prometheus lore. I don't like that statement at all. Yeah, I, yeah, I liked it. I, you That's don't the like level Prometheus. You didn't like. Oh, I loved it. He didn't it, like that level. I like engineers, uh, the, the sculptures of the yeah. engineers, and I even like that. even the pathogen sort of factors in here. If you know Alien Lord, but unfortunately, no actual engineers in the game. We got zombies. You got they put zombies in mm. your fucking aliens game. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> Joe. Joe, you want to play a motherfucking zombie game? That would have resulted in at least uh, an additional point from me uh, if the engineers... I hate how we get teased all the time in Alien games with the space jockeys, and we never, ever get a payoff there to actually see one or fight one or mm -hmm. something. They had a huge opportunity but wasted it. Um, maybe in a DLC update. I don't know. Yeah, the lore is one of the, the, the other things that was great until it wasn't. And you mentioned like a picture, and I don't need fully animated no, cutscenes yeah. from a AAA a studio. There are so many games, budget games, indie games that cost $5 that have amazing voiceover work and they've got a, an amazing image that if you own the Aliens license, you probably have access to the Fox Vault because that's how licensing works. Yeah. And you can show a picture, a, Ge a Geiger image, and it's like fading in and going around and doing, doing cool things. And that could, it does so much because we finished a mission and then the screen goes black, and now you're you're in the yeah. thing. And there's no voiceover. There's no anything there's else a, after the yeah. fact. Like there's even like program where like a mission ends, and it's like go to the corner of the map to get picked up. But it doesn't look like you can get picked up there. Yeah. And the mission just ends in a face yeah. of black. It's like they didn't mm -hmm. finish develop. Yeah. It, nah, I think we're fine. Oh, we have to go over here. Two or three squad rating. Oh. All right. Mission but you see how the end of the level wasn't really designed where we get extracted. It was just like kind of go in the little, go go in the corner. 
Go on the corner of the level. Yeah, that's where we'll say you get picked up. <laughs> Needs a little bit there. But, okay, so let's... Um, it sounds like we're we're hating on the game because you're constantly picking at it. We're we're, we're doing no, all these negatives, like said, but it's, it's because it's love. such a simple idea mm -hmm. where it's like waves and waves. The alien license is perfect for that. The look is perfect. The sound is perfect. The music, I'll say, the music is fantastic. I love the music. I love the additions to the lore, and I think they pay respect for it to the license, and they didn't fuck it up like yeah. Gearbox did. Fuck you! The fuck? The hell did I get all dressed up for? Fuck! So, let's go to the final verdict. Okay, final verdict for me, I'm gonna give this a six. I did have fun with it. I That's felt like slightly a above average. Yeah, I felt like a marine. It's like an it above was, average. It was so game. much fun, just like killing stuff. But I. At the end of every mission, it just felt like faded to black. It just like it was lackluster, and especially yeah. chapter four. That was the end. Yeah, I was like, is, "That's it." I was like, yes. "What's going on?" It and, does and feel like, "Hey, wait a minute!" And then they start talking about all these people coming, right? And this is mm -hmm. that. It's like, but no, the game is over. And yeah. it's like, well, what the fuck? It's like, well, DLC is coming in November. Yeah, it's but, like, well, but we're here, doing it yeah. now as exactly. this is for forty dollars. I think I would probably wait. It wasn't. I wish they kind of would have had more guns. I like uh, for my class. There was only a couple of guns I could have used, and they didn't really have a lot of yeah, rifles. Yeah, the classes are limited to the guns. I, I don't know the lore. Maybe that's just what I'm stuck with. But as soon as I found my gun, I was like, "Well, this is what I'm gonna do." So I'm just gonna level these up. Yeah. And I didn't really want to do the other ones. And this is a game where you have to have to play with friends. Because the AI is the AI, not yeah, able to handle it. Yeah, you're not really going to have a lot of fun. Yep. So I think this, that's why yeah. Joe's at a 6 out of 10, because he put a lot of time into the mm -hmm. single player, which is not up to par, guys. No, and uh, like I said, again, the variation. I wish they would have done something with that or mm -hmm. some kind of horror element, because the first time I saw Aliens or Alien, I was fucking scared. Yep. It was Tough scary. love. Tough love from other Joe. What about Alex? Uh, I, I like this game. I think it's got <laughs> a... I don't want to say a satisfying gameplay loop. I mean, I think it's it's good for one one playthrough. I don't think that this has the legs that a lot of the games that people are comparing to. Like, it's not Left 4 Dead. It, it's missing oh, way no. too much content. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, it would would have been amazing if we could play as the aliens. We don't play as the aliens. That mode itself could have given it unlimited replayability. If no, we were man, that that technology aliens. only existed in the the mid '90s when you and I were playing it on, online <laughs> on on dial-up internet. <laughs> And I can explode up on these fools. Go for it, go for it, go for it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that was fucking awesome. I was keeping them playing with ass. Uh, I think they did so much right. You can tell that the, these people really, truly cared about the Aliens license because you're, you're going through and you're like, this is an Easter egg. The sound design is is right. Uh, you know, face huggers are a menace and there's so many other things, but they, they, they do so much right and then they just stop abruptly as far as quality goes. Like the RPG elements, I the guns I started with as a technician, I never upgraded because they were the best in, in slot. Your period. pistol was the best, best weapon in the game and, if and not, you got it at the beginning. And you started with it. And if that's not the best in the game, the pump shotgun is the best in the game and that's my other weapon and yeah, the, stick with the technician was overpowered but but frankly you switched from the the dock sucked. from the dock the to dock the was just so underpowered to, to min max yeah they, they they have some balancing issues uh, uh, that i they can fix in a patch so i'm not going to really you know harshly grade them on the rpg elements i think that they did just enough for me not to be mad at them but they could have done so right. much mm -hmm. more there's one two uh, optics per gun maybe three optics per gun mm -hmm. and there's with like very little mm -hmm. variation between them I don't think this is a game that I want to play again. I'm glad I played it. I'm a huge Aliens fan. I love Aliens video games. And they did just enough for me to not be upset. And because I'm such a big fan, I'm going to give it a, a 7, a little bit higher than you. But this, if someone's like, hey, do you want to play this next week? No, I'm done. I, I think until they drop new content, this is a one and done for me. And I don't, and One and done at 40 yeah, bucks. Yeah, because that's what yeah. I would do, too. Is like, <laughs> all right, I play the game, shelf it till okay. the DLC. You know, you think they get tired of this shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't say that. You talking about us in horde mode? Uh, I think it earns a 7 out of 10. It is because I am highly biased. I love It's my favorite film. I think they did it justice. They did it right. I want you to buy it, but I want you to say Joe is probably right out of all of us because he's got the casual, you know, say, like, I'm not in love with aliens 
why is the single player AI so bad and all these other things and what could have been. Now, first game, first time studio, great. Yeah. It's a one and done. Um, but honestly, it could have very well been higher. The game could have reached higher. It could still reach some of that with free content. Uh, but they've actually not detailed any of the free content other than a new class. Um, but there could be new story, and I'm hoping there is, because the game literally just stops. Yeah. It cuts off, and it says, Hyperdyne is coming, and so is Wayland, so, and there's it? still aliens on the ground, and there's still the fucking queen there, and it's like, nuke it from orbit. The guy's like, no, we can't nuke it from orbit because it'll make a mess. I'm like, that's not how that works. It incinerates everything. No, uh space it from orbit. mess. What exactly? So it loses a point for the lack of content and, and and the lack of boss battles, and it's just a bit on the repetitive side. So those three things kind of bring it down to, for yeah. me to a seven out of ten. Um, Could have used that varying mission types, but this is amazing to me for a first time studio. I think it's solid. If you're an Aliens fan, definitely pick it up. It's not gonna you know piss you off or make you angry uh, like Aliens Colonial Marines. And I hope that maybe they're just kind of Dipping their toe in there, seeing if it's um, getting enough sales that maybe we might get some extended story stuff, some new modes, uh, some new characters. And then by then, it could be an 8, 9. You know, who knows? So we'll, we'll see that. But that's it for Aliens Fire Team uh, Elite. Such a weird name. <laughs> Aliens Fire best, Team would have done it fine. <laughs> no, the Elite. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. Tells all this shit. In the name of science, I will put my face in it. <laughs>